up hey guys what's up so it's me again one more time today because i'm so sorry i forgot to do gme because i went for me from amc to triple q uh, because i wanted to show the correlation and i just noticed that so guys i'm posting a video uh, only on gme uh, because because there is no reason i don't do gme today if i did the uh, rest of the stocks i'm usually doing so jamie what do we have? So it's pretty much the same thing, but uh, let's do it. Let's do it together. So what do we have? We are having exactly the same kind of situation, which is a massive move up that is following once again very well the FIB um, extensions, projections, and, um, and that is pulling back. So whenever you have a pullback, you measure it to know who is in control, bam, bam, bam. Okay, and we are above the 50% uh, fib ratio at 138, which is telling us that bulls in control on the long term. Um, we could go once again even to the 130 levels. 130 level bulls would still be in control. So what do we have on the shorter term? Uh, if I am going to stay on the, on the daily time frame, uh, we are having this consolidation that is exactly the same we are having on sorry triple Q here, guys. And that is the same that we're having on AMC, all right? So we're having exactly the same pattern that is uh, happening on those three stocks that have nothing in common, I would say, uh, apart, uh, except that, uh, you know, traders are, are trading it. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, it's just the market is correlating with a correlation equal to one, usually, which means that every move is happening together. Uh, in the same direction whenever um, market participants are, you know, not really wh whenever there is no direction in the market. And here um, we are in the same situation, guys. So this is the reason why I'm going to do the technical analysis on all of them. But the conclusion is going to be the same. If triple Q drops, AMC will drop, GME will drop. Once again, we have sometimes the negative beta that is taking place, but this negative beta takes place only when we are in a bull market. So this is what we are looking for. So I told you guys that on triple Q, I got stopped at 339.5. So now we are a little bit lower. I don't really care because I mean, it was just a, a play that I, that I do on top of my, uh, I mean, long term plays. I do some day trading to, you know, cover the losses <laughs> of the long term plays that sometimes uh, take more time to deliver the, the, the profits we are expecting. So bam, 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 triple, uh, sorry, GME guys, uh, what is the situation here? So like I said, we are in the same kind of consolidation here. The levels are 142 and 152. So we are in this tight range for the past eight days, something like that. Uh, today, as you can see, we had a nice reaction right on the support. So once again, how to place your support whenever you don't have exactly the same levels. As you can see, I placed my support here. Why not here? Just because here I'm having one reaction. Here I'm having one, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, this is where most buyers entered the trade and managed to create a short term reversal. So, this is the level they're gonna keep buying. So, this is where you have the support level. Uh, bam, bam, bam. So, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen, guys. We are still in this tight range. So, as you can see, we had a close at 141 point. Four. So once again, for a bearish signal to happen, um, I hope it will not happen. But unfortunately, we are close to it. We would need to have a close, you know, below 141. So triple Q is dropping more since I did my video that I posted just before. Uh, but we are still in a, I would say, neutral area as long as we are above 300, 338, and we can have some access to 336. Uh, what can I tell you about GME guys? Uh, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I don't like to see that. As you can see on the hourly time frame, we had this 200 uh, period moving average that was here acting a little bit as support, like uh, as support. And here, once again, we went through the 148 level. I'm not sure why I have this level here because it's a breakout level. Uh, and we went through basically all the moving averages together. So that's not very good, to be honest. Um, but once again, as you can see, whenever we are in a disorganized move, it's very hard to really predict what's going to happen. We, need, we are waiting for a signal. I mean, as long as we don't have a signal, uh, we're probably going to keep moving sideways. 
and a signal would be created by a strong volume in the same time as a breakout. So this is what we're looking for. This is what uh, I'm gonna try to tell you whenever I see it. For now, we don't have it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I can quickly show you as well uh, the usual um, the usual stocks I'm showing you. So there is oil and silver. So let's have a look. Um, once again, I'm not making a good day today, guys. Pretty bad, actually. Uh, yesterday was the same. So, you know, those days can happen, but they cannot happen too often, right? That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, and, ah, la, la. and today I was making some money on oil. It's pretty much the only thing I'm making money today. I mean, on the commodity market. And it's still good. So this is, I would say, my hedge a little bit against the scenario that could happen that is a bad scenario that is um that is basically a, a strong bear market that could happen it's unlikely but it can happen we're in a situation where it can happen and if it happens uh it would probably be due to inflation that would be caused by uh, the increase of commodity prices and the commodity of commodities is oil you need oil for everything if you want to make gold i mean yeah even gold you know because you need oil for the machines silver uh whatever uh you know crops uh you need you always need oil uh for the other to produce the other commodities so i'm long oil so at, at least if there is a strong bear market i'm gonna lose money i can tell you but uh this is gonna at least uh protect a little bit my investment and it's gonna allow me to reload on the rest of the market at lower levels i'm gonna use these profits if i manage to make some to reload on the rest of the market here once again my target is 145 all right that could be reached around maybe june maybe july i don't really know you, we can have different scenarios but i think that we are heading here so so i'm happy to have this uh, protection against the rest of the market and i'm also having a short position on triple q i mean it was short then i bought now i sold again so i'm back with my short position it's my short position is increasing on the on, on the downside so it's gonna once again help me to at least uh i'm gonna i'm still gonna lose money i can tell you if uh, we move if we keep move, moving lower but at least i'm gonna be able to hold my positions and to add uh if we really go lower which is very important you always need to keep some of your investment uh if a bad scenario happens because otherwise you know you're gonna find yourself in a situation where you should not find yourself you always need to have a plan for every scenario so this is my plan i know that whatever happens um I'm not going to make money, whatever happens, of course, but whatever happens, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel like I'm following my plan, which is very important when you're a trader, especially when you have uh, a few days like I had today and yesterday that are bad days. Um, you need to, you know, just stick to your plan and prepare everything, anticipate, and whatever happens, you know what to do. You don't find yourself suddenly in a situation where uh, you are surprised and you panic and you need to stop your position at the worst time. This won't happen to me. It happened to me in the past. I can tell you it won't happen to me again. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new and stay close to shore. I see you guys.